Hello everybody, it's the um, 1st of October today and uh, as I've said in uh, previous videos I'm very lucky to be living down here in the southwest of the UK uh, where the winter hasn't quite got here yet, we're still in autumn, um, in fact early autumn for some of the trees. Uh, this little birch clump experiment is uh, just beginning just beginning to think about turning uh, into its glorious buttery yellow. Um, I've also got some trees that think it's spring and are throwing out new shoots. Um, so, and we still got, mm, well anything can happen, but so generally speaking another two, three weeks um, before we really hit into cold, cold weather and frosts and things. Um, sometimes we don't get the first frost until November. So yeah last winter we only had two or three frosts um, that I can remember uh, all winter so who knows what we're gonna have this time so anyway I was out walking with Cooper and um, as always and I came across a clump tree and uh, or a tree that had formed in a clump uh, a big old sycamore and uh, it made me think I need to come back and have a look at the clump style uh, fusion project and this that I did alongside it this being um, a single uh, birch um, tree that I decided to just coppice essentially so I gave it a good chop at the base and left it to see what it would happen um, as a kind of race alongside I guess so um, we ended up with three strong shoots and a, a small shoot there that's pretty much died off so um, it couldn't compete so we'll get rid of that quickly it wasn't uh, wasn't really going to come to much it's not even the size of a matchstick and uh, we have uh, a stump here or a stub even where I cut it back and it's died back slightly so I'm going to remove that if I can just bring that back a little meter nibble away that's better so uh, still hoping Father Christmas will bring me a new set of cutters but who knows um, so that's all I'm going to do with this one and uh, before I bring in the, the seven trunk fusion experiment we'll have a quick look at that tree I mentioned uh, that Cooper and I came across. I'm loving the base of this sycamore. Oh, maybe many, I don't know. Um, but certainly uh, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight trunks coming from one base um, with these lovely sinuous curves and then forming one tall tree uh, one big canopy okay so here's that uh, seven trunk fusion project uh, go back and I'll put a link in the end screen and, and in the description for the playlist that this is going to be a part of um, and you can go back and see me create this I think uh, you just saw in that sycamore video it's a thing that happens in nature and uh, I tried, decided I would try and create one from a bunch of seedlings that I had and uh, well this is the result so far it does have some sort of possibly a fungal disease looks almost a bit like a uh, black spot on the couple of the leaves so um, when the leaves fall I'll be getting rid of all those I'll be burning them rather than putting them on the compost heap or anything and then in spring uh, I'll give it a spray with a fungicide and just to see if we can keep that at bay next year so first thing I want to do, um, I know the trees weren't fused, 
there hasn't been enough growing this time um, it may be a couple of years before they do but they should be fairly set in their place um, they're rooted into the compost well they've all grown quite well so we should have some um, room to actually remove some of these pieces that were keeping the trunk separate at the base like so um, some mycelium under there which is a good sign remove some of these bits and pieces just odd bits of wood and a closed peg and what not so this could be a bit of a close-up in there if I can and there we have the trees are growing nicely I might uh, I think I put a piece of um, wire on some of these trunks just to get them uh, growing a little bit more apart um, again as you saw in that video although the trees are all quite happy and growing to make their own little uh, canopy none of them are crossing none of them are touching uh, none of them are interfering with each other so yeah I'm gonna put some wire on a few of these and see if I can't make an interesting looking clump, grove, whatever you want to call it. I've yet to really decide on a front. Um, at the moment I'm leaning towards this being my front. Um, I think that's going to give the best views of all of the separate trunks um, this has some merit also actually I kind of like this trunk coming out to the side here um, it's making me think this could be this could be the front in fact I'm going to call it yes this will be my front um, yeah, let's put some wire on this tree. As always, I've got some odd bits of wire from other projects that I've taken off that I can reuse. Um, this one isn't going to need much wiring, so a simple short piece. And uh, I'm going to anchor it in the soil, even though I'm starting a bit, a little bit higher up in the trunk. But because of the trunk's angle, I think that'll work. not too worried about any of these side branches and things the tree will probably get chopped slightly come spring um, but at the moment this will give the tree um, just holding these branches in place as the tree sets down for when settles down for winter um, and over winter the trees aren't going to grow and scar uh, into the into the things and hopefully by spring of next year uh, these smaller ones will have actually set in place and uh, that'll be jobs are good so I'm actually happy with most of the positioning on most of these trees this one I think needs to come out a little bit and I could probably do that with a tether rather than wiring it so I will do that um, I much prefer that method if I can it's safer in terms of scarring and things so little hook will go under the lip of the pot and just wrap that very loosely and that will hold that tree in position there quite nicely um, I can manoeuvre that and I can use that little bit just to bring that slightly upright without putting too much stress on the tree um, and without having to worry too much about the tree growing into the wire uh, and scarring. Uh, this one I don't like that it's crossing that piece so 
and get this piece in. There's such a lot of root under there. Um, there, that's got it. That's anchoring that quite nicely. That piece has moved, so that's okay. I can deal with that in a minute. So I'm just putting a little bit of movement into this trunk. Bringing it into its own little area. That's better. And that piece. I'm actually going to tuck that around that corner. I think that'll work better. Yes. I can just get that to stay. I may have to make a little hole in the side of the pot. But uh, I think that'll do it for now. I don't want to bore you too much with it. Okay. Um, this piece definitely needs shortening at the back here. Um, and I think I would take that piece off were I to be doing that job now. But I'm going to leave it so that all the goodness from all of these leaves goes down into the into the roots of the tree and into the trunk and gives it some energy for spring. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire that as if I was keeping it all, even though I know I'm not going to, if that makes sense. So again, trying to anchor it down into the soil. Apologies if my arm is in the way. Wrapping this very loosely, even though I'm not too worried about it overgrowing. Okay, so bring the tree back round to the front so I can see what I'm doing. and up and then I'm going to bend that piece down so that will be the new leader if that makes sense um, and that piece will be removed come the springtime okay so that one I'm going to leave where it is this one is fine this one I like apart from this branch but again, I'm going to leave that on and remove it come spring. This piece, I think, needs to be moved back and out. And I'm going to need a slightly thicker piece of wire for that. Um, okay, so I've got my thicker piece of wire. This is a pretty short piece because I don't want to um, put a lot of movement all the way up um, to the top of the trunk. But I do want this tree to just to come out like so and then back up like so let's have a look from the front I will put something on this one as well. Oh, very quickly. difficult to do this when there are so many trunks but uh, it's nice to have so many trunks I've tried this before with a large you know, group um, and a bunch failed and I ended up with a, a three trunk birch clump which is very nice and I'll Perhaps I'll bring that over in a minute and we'll have a look at that. Uh, 
Okay, so... So exactly what I don't want to happen is for the trunks to interfere with one another. Okay, I'm liking that. Um, despite what I said just now, I am going to remove that piece. Um, simply to clarify the view of what I'm looking at. I think that is interesting. Um, and uh, is a good, a good start to this project. As I say, I might chop it all back. Um, probably to about here come the spring. I won't be repotting it. It only went into this big uh, seed tray this year. So I can see there's a lot of mycelium, which probably means there's a lot of root. But I don't want to set the tree back by repotting it too early um, in this development phase. Let's give you a quick 360. As I say, ignore this strange bit, that will be removed for definite. Uh, this could be a front for this tree. This could be one of those trees that I decide has to have a dual front. We shall see. So that's all the work I want to do for this and that. Um, we'll set this tree up nicely for some early work next spring. Before we go, I'll just quickly show you um, what a fusion birch looks like after a few years, in case you haven't seen earlier videos. Um, so I'll just go and get that one. So, Okay, so here's one that's been growing for three or four years now. Um, and uh, as I say, I tried to make this a five clump birch, if I remember correctly. And unfortunately, um, two of them died off, one there. And, uh, another one here but what is left have fused together nicely and if I bring this up towards the camera um, the three trees have made one rather nice little uh, base with some interesting root formations I mean I need to clean some of this moss off but uh, yeah I'm really pleased with how that's worked and hopefully this seven trunk one uh, will work just as well. Thank you all for watching. In these troubled times, please, please, please look after yourselves. Stay safe.